basically we have something uh, like this in a computer uh, we have this called uh, let me take this one you have your uh, cpu unit this is your cpu unit central processing unit in this central processing area uh, this is one chip let us say this is the chip and there is another uh, chip memory chip uh, this is another memory chip and these memory chips let us say we are calling them uh, them uh, these, these chips uh, uh, ram let us say they are random access memory so what happens is this externally i mean if you come out of this box here this this box external there is a another magnetic disk hard disk this is hard disk drive hdd so this also will interface uh, this will interface with this your uh, cpu unit this is sort of bidirectional ram because we can write uh, data can go into and it can come out so when uh, you did not power on this is, uh, let us say this is power off uh, this is power off when this is in a power off state your programs what all you have installed all programs will reside in this uh, hard disk that is magnetic disk hard disk your programs and data will reside in this when the moment when you power on and uh, you want to access some uh, let us say uh, there is a uh, uh, there is a program called uh, microsoft word or office so this you are trying to access this program is loaded here from this this portion from this uh, to ram here it is loaded so that is locally available now cpu can frequently visit here to the ram unit and can access this word that a uh, word uh, program that is loaded into the ram so when that is when power, you power, you power on your cpu when you power on your cpu you can access this way. but the moment uh, when you power off the moment you power off this is uh, uh, this data you are going to lose so your entire program that uh, this word program and data re relevant to whatever that file you have uh, written everything that is stored in in this hard disk somewhere some memory location it is stored here so meaning basically when you power on for uh, immediate access cpu is actually uh, uh, accessing uh, your ram this this memory not this memory this is auxiliary memory this is your auxiliary memory and this is your primary memory this is your primary memory somebody unmuted kindly mute check everyone check so this is your primary memory so cpu when powered on in the, from the primary memory it access so because of that the intention of doing so from accessing from here is uh, speed so we want to enhance the speed if it is trying to access from this external then it is a time consuming process so we actually the very intention of having a cpu is to minimize the time for any activity computational activity or automated activity we want to minimize the time so but that is not happening if we access externally as from the auxiliary memory if we access from the primary memory then we are able to minimize the time to access so that's the for one one point that we have to understand between the auxiliary memory and the primary memory so there are scenarios uh, uh, in this ram if you see this uh, let me take another slide here if you see this uh, memory uh, your ram random access memory this has got some address locations let us say this address location is 0 and this is 1 this is 2 likewise we have some address locations n this is n so likewise we have some address locations 
we can go to any address location and we can access the corresponding uh, word here residing inside this. Inside here, the, the, the word that is residing here, that we can access. For uh, access means we can read. We can read. So we also can write if we need be. Uh, so write and read operations are perfect. So what is happening here in this read operation or write operation? We have to have this address, address access. Through address, we are going to access the word that is there, the word that is there inside the memory. How is that we are accessing the word that is there inside the memory? Through this address. We should not be forgetting this address. Through this address we are accessing. Now the point is, is there a way to eliminate this address? Eliminate, eliminate accessing anything through the address. Directly we have to access. Directly means, suppose say if I'm checking for hello. So I must access directly hello. What I put is my argument is hello. If that is there inside the, uh, this uh, memory, then I should be able to read out hello. The inside is not there, depending upon the command that I give to write or read, I should be able to write this hello inside the memory wherever that is available, space available. So meaning what is a contained, contained, remember this, this, this terminal, contained, addressable, contained, addressable memory. So, uh, contained addressable memory. So, that is CAM. In the external exam, write about CAM. It is coming. Those guys who are, uh, uh, are not familiar with this uh, CAM, that full form, contained addressable memory, without awareness, they may leave this uh, question, which comes for, uh, possibly for five months. Or sometimes, write about contained addressable memory. So in short, they may give write about CAM. So meaning contained addressable memory. So that you have to remember. So the basic idea here today's uh, discussion is, instead of accessing the word, uh, instead of reading the word from the memory using its address, we have to access it uh, we have to read it or we have to write it using contained itself. Contained itself. For example, if you open your uh, possibly this, uh, this, this will give some insight to you. If you uh, open your uh, uh, smartphone, smartphone, and uh, you have stored somewhere, let us say, uh, my uh, friend. Uh, C O A. That name with that you have stored. Another you have stored my friend T e M T L. One, likewise, you have stored one contact like that, the other contact like this. So you forgot actually what was that you stored here, my friend name. Name you forgot, suppose. But you remember that you associated with that T O A or something E M T L. If you type in your search here, contact search, simply C O A. Now the list will pop up here, complete list with the COA, what, uh, what all the contact numbers that you have stored, one, two, three, like that, all list will pop up. Meaning what, you are not searching using the uh, address, you don't know really the address where you have stored. With the help of content itself, you are searching where the contents are from in the memory. So that is the content, this content. So it's a contained addressable memory. Is that here? That's the point. That is what we are trying to see now in today's topic. It's a, uh, uh, a contained addressable memory sort of discussion. This one here, this is associative memory. You see, this topic we are going to touch. Coming to this presentation here, uh, this one. Uh, around 20 slides are there, no issue, uh, we can cover up. Uh, if you have any queries, you can stop me and you can answer. So let us start with this uh, associative memory topic. 
let me change this uh, okay now main data processing applications require the search of items in a table stored in memory data processing you are fir filter so, uh, you have uh, something called uh, 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 there is a fir filter finite uh, impulse response filter i don't know whether you come across or not uh, but uh, not to get into this uh, only point that i'm trying to make here is the data processing application you know data processing application so the in this data processing there is a, this is a uh, uh, wherein you possibly suppose say you have a multiplier um, you have multiplication you are multiplying a and b a into b so it's a data problem let us say this y equal to a i b i so a i b i means a i is a vector b i b is also a vector a is a vector b is a vector so we don't know the vector size it may be 100 vector size may be 100 a uh, and b also may be 100 so a of 0 into b of 0 a of 1 into b of 1 you are processing data actually so frequent uh, you know frequently the processing data so at that time what is the required is such uh, in that case items in a table stored in memory they are stored in a some memory this this uh, all this vector data is stored in the memory and assembler program searches the symbol address table in order to extract the symbols binary equivalent this is another example this is one example main data processing application require the search they require the search this is search of items in a table stored in memory so data processing application require search what search they need they need a of 0 b of 0 where it is a of 1 b of 1 where it is like that the search is required this is main data uh, processing application next example is an assembler program this is another second example search a symbols symbol search as a symbol address table in order to extract the symbols binary equivalent suppose say you are typing in your uh, uh, computer uh, something uh, something like that you are you are typing So you are typing all this squares using your keyboard, but what is really happening? This has got this A has got some uh, binary equivalent for that inside the computer to be stored. Similarly, P also has got some binary equivalent. So all such binary equivalents are stored in the uh, memory. So what it does, this assembler program searches the symbol address table there is a symbol address table in order to extract symbols the symbols binary equivalent you are right this is a symbol for that this is a simple program this is a symbol so the binary equivalent of this symbol is this one so what it is doing this assembler program it is searching for the symbols again uh, what is uh, the point here uh, emphasized here is the point here emphasize it is a searching that is the search is here here that we are emphasizing through this example search we are emphasizing and account number may be search again we are emphasizing search one place second place and the third place we are giving examples here data processing application here assembler program here account number So this is again a search in a file. In a file, to determine the holder's name and account status. So the established way to search this search again search fourth time we are talking about is to store all items where they can be addressed in sequence. So this this is important. Addressed in sequence. Whose job the established way? There is a established way. There is a standard procedure. Established way means there is a standard procedure. What for a standard procedure to search, to search the stored items? How can we address it in sequence? They can be in a 
in a sequence manner, one after another. So the search procedure is a strategy for choosing sequence of addresses, reading the content of memory at each address, and comparing the information read with the item being searched until a match occurs. So this is again very uh, clear. What is such procedure involved? In, it, in a sequence, it goes, it reads the content of the memory, get each address, compare the information read with the item being searched. How long until match occurs? So the number of access to memory depends on the location of the item and the efficiency of the search algorithm. Two points here. One is the search algorithm. Efficiency. It should be efficient search algorithm. If you type in a Google uh, search algorithms, you will find numer uh, innumerable search algorithms. Among them, there are uh, efficient, meaning within no time, they help us to pick the item from the memory. So those are the search algorithms, efficiency we are talking about. And access to memory depends on the location, where it is located, meaning in your memory is suppose a huge memory. So it is li lying somewhere here that is uh, 3014 uh, address location. But see, uh, sequentially when you are searching 0 through all these numbers, so it is wasting actually all this time, right? So this, this much of time wasted actually. The moment when it has come here 3014, then it is finding the uh, item. So meaning the location also matters. If it is coming early, then within no time we can access. We can access. If it is not coming early in the sequence, then we have to wait till that uh, happens here. So that is an, again another issue that we have uh, if you search that way. So the number of access to memory, uh, this we uh, already uh, many such algorithms have been developed to minimize the number of accesses while searching for an item in random or sequential access memory. So this is again the same point. The time required to find an item stored in memory can be reduced considerably if we store data can be identified for access by content of data itself rather than address. This is the point that is uh, I was in earlier before starting this topic in the paint I was discussing. The, the time required to find, the time required to find, we can minimize. Instead going by, rather than by an address, this the strike and one here, rather than address, the content itself is used to search. Then this time required dra drastically we can minimize. That's the point here. So a memory unit accessed by content called an associative memory. Remember, this associative memory. What is that? A memory unit accessed by content itself is called associative memory. The other name is contained addressable memory. That is the shortcut is CAM. So in external exams, be alert here. If it is coming as associative memory, then also the same answer. CAM, shortcut CAM also is the same answer. The full form content addressable memory also the same one. So you shouldn't be having any confusion here. This type of memory is accessed simultaneously, simultaneously and in parallel on the basis of data content rather than specific address location, specific address or location. So that is this point in the paint uh, we, I already uh, introduced you before uh, touching this associative memory topic. So when a word is written in an associative memory, no address is given. There is no address is given. The memory is capable of finding an empty, empty, unused location to store the word. So earlier in the RAM case, what we used to do? A particular memory location we use it to have in the RAM case, in the RAM case we use it to have addresses. So in this address, particular address location 3014, if I want to write then I have to mention 3014 address location, then I can read or I can write. So this is uh, read and this is the write. I can do with the help of address in case of RAM. But in case of this uh, CAM, I don't need to mention that. 
automatically what it does is empty unused location it it finds that it finds that and stores the word there when a word is to be read from the associative memory the content of the word or part of the word is specified so that is what i was telling again in, in the paint software i said you have stored contacts uh, something with the uh, name and uh, coa there are uh, several names you stored one two three four all the you associated with the coa coa CO. but you forgot particular name uh, one two particular name you forgot if, if you put in your uh, uh, you know address uh, that is the contact or uh, such coa if you put simply then all those contacts with whom you are associated the coa will pop up here so that is what the part of the part of you see the part of the word here the part of the word so that is what when a word is to be read from the associative memory the content of the word or a part of the, of, of the word is specified the memory locates all words which match the specified content and marks them for reading that is what it does so with this let us proceed because of its organization the associative memory is uniquely suited, uh, suited to do parallel searches by data association more uh, moreover searches can be done on an entire word or a specific field within a word that this already we have covered in the previous year here yes, this we covered already this one so an associative memory is more extensive ah this is the point to uh, note the more extensive than random access memory the more extensive because each cell must have storage capability as well as logic circuit for matching contained with an external argument so the that is uh, there is a trade off if here if you can speed up the search operation you are speeding up but the other side you are increasing the uh, amount here but the other side you are increasing the amount the reason for increasing the amount is logic circuit is required for such a fast search speed is required means some extra hardware is required so that increases the price and uh, storage capability this is again another for that also price in increase for this reason associative memories are used so because price is more comparatively your ram so what is that uh, where where search time is critical must be very short so search you have to search so where search is important very critical means where search is important and must be very short in within no time you want to search so in that applications this associative memories are deployed used instead of your random access memory instead of random access memory these these are used associative memories are used for where important is your search is important critical very critical and the time required is very short in two cases we can avoid this random access memory we can go for associative memory. so every point here the examination point of the important now we see the hardware how this hardware is so in this basically what we have before uh, discussing this theory let us go to straight see this hardware the block diagram of associative memory is you have argument here the argument is you are you are trying to search something so suppose say you are trying to search uh hello world hello world is a your argument so that argument is in the argument register that the, the word that you want to search is in argument and the key is for masking for masking and unmasking so we use for masking and unmasking so we'll see that what it is and then uh, if you want to write something set the memory So here inside the memory, if you want something, that that comes here, not in the argument register, not in the argument register. You give this hello world. Let us say this hello world itself. You want to write inside the memory. You give here as the input here, here as the input. You want to write here. 
So for that, you don't put here in the argument register. So you give here the input here. And if you want to uh, uh, read or if you want to write, if it is there, then you perform this. Associative memory array and logic. This, this insight is the logic. So what is there inside that we'll see? Uh, just uh, let me hear this. So basically, it contains one is the argument register, the other is the key register, and there, there is a match register. So you have what you have here. M words, N bit per word. M words are there here. Meaning, one, two, three, like that. How many are there? Total, M. M words are there. N bits, N bits per word here. So meaning every look, every word here. First word can store how many bits? N bits it can store. Can store N bits. Likewise, every 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 word can store. M M Mth word also can store n bits. So me for every word corresponding to every word, this match register has one bit here. If match occurs, then it is, it stores one here. If no match, it stores zero. So meaning how many uh, like uh, in a match register, what is the size here? Because m words are there, so m the the size are getting the point. What I'm telling here. Let me again one more time. Here, see, m words are there. One all through m. For every comparison that is happening, let us say first word is compared successfully. You you gave something here, and that is matching with the first word. For this corresponding to the first word, here is a one one flip flop. That is set to one. If this somewhere some word is matching here. Corresponding to that, there is a flip flop that is set to one. So, like, meaning like that, how many how many flip flops will be there here? The size is a m, right? M m is the size of the match register. Why m is the size of the match register? Because corresponding to every word here, we have one flip flop. How many words are there? M are there. So, meaning m is the size of this match register. That is what the point that I am trying to make. Okay. So now let us go to the bit theory here. This bit theory is the block diagram of an associative memory is shown in Figure One that we have seen. It consists of a memory array and logic for m words with n bits per word that also we have seen. The argument register A and the key register K each have n bits for each bit word that also we have seen here. This is uh, n bits here. So n bits. And this is also n bits in size because we have here n bits. One word is of n bits. So throughout it's a n, n, n. But only this we have to remember it's m. So that is what this point is. This one. So the match register m has m bits. One for each word. So also we have seen. Each word in memory is compared in parallel with the content of the argument register. Each word in the memory is compared in parallel with the content of the argument register. This how is this comparison is happening? That we have to see. The words that match the bits of the argument register get a corresponding bit in the match register. So first word is matching means the corresponding bit of the match register. You know the match register you have seen like this. First word, this is the first word. If this match at the complete word is or part of the word is match according to our requirement here. This is the argument register and this is the key. If the key is a mask, suppose let us say I'm giving one 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 here and this area is you perform suppose a one zero one. You perform, you use an AND operation. So this this portion, let us let us uh, discuss in detail later on. But here, as a brief, I just presenting this area. I am keeping all zeros here. This is the K register. This is the A register, argument register. And if I use the AND gate, and I am setting this is one here, meaning this this portion. For every bit, and get is required for every bit. This portion I am emphasizing here. 
meaning what whatever comes here this whatever comes here this one that will appear here on the output when this is one meaning when it is zero that zero will be in here when it is one this one is in here. this happens only when this is one is that clear this happens only when the other input of the and gate is one so the other input whatever the input here that is seen on the output so to for that in the k k this k register i am setting all this bit meaning this area can be matched perfectly this area using and gate so if my intention is to match part of the part of the word here meaning this match occurred for the, for the first word let us say this is the first word in the memory and the corresponding to the first word in the in the match register there is a bit that is set to one because match occurred so that is what here the word that match the bits of the argument register set the corresponding bit in the match after the process after the matching process those bits in the match register that have been set indicate the fact that their corresponding bit the corresponding words have been matched that is very obvious one is set means corresponding this one word is matched so that is what the theory about there and this one we have seen already let us go to further here reading is accomplished by sequential access to memory for those words whose corresponding bits in the math register have been set now how is how is that reading happening reading is accomplished by a sequential access to memory for those words whose corresponding bits in the math register have been set so this math register has m m bits now so this is set to 1 it is uh, last one let us say this is set to 1 the others are here 0 all are 0 let us say so meaning this one and this one are read read from the memory so reading is accomplished by sequential access to memory for those words for those words whose corresponding bits in the match register have been set this one this one is these two are read so that is what this one the key register provides a mask for choosing a particular field or a key argument so why the key register is used key register provides a mask provides a mask for choosing a particular field the argument register we have several uh, bits right n bits are there in n bits are we looking for complete n bits match then we have to set this key key like all ones here all ones why all ones i told you people this is a hardware opera to use this is one bit is going to here the other bit of the key is going here this other bit all we are tying to one let us say now whatever here is there zero means this zero is in here if one this one is here. so meaning what this this bit is matching is happening with the help of and gate so the entire argument is compared with each memory word if the key register contains all ones you you know the this one the entire argument is the argument is this one argument register the n bits this entire n bits the argument the entire is compared only when if the key register contains all ones is that clear if you have any doubt you can ask at this point how this uh, this uh, comparison is done one more time i will present if you have any doubts you can suppose say your argument register has got one and uh, your key register key, key has got zero now what happens to so giving to the hardware your argument register one goes here your key zero goes here what is the output zero no there is no match no one is different This zero is zero. There is no match. I want to make match. So what I do? This this zero this is k. Instead of putting a uh, zero, this k value, I put a k value as a one. Now if here, but earlier we took the one. No, that one you take one. 
approved. One is coming out. One is coming out. The match here. This one and this one. So zero coming. Then also zero comes out. Meaning the match is there. But this happened only when this the other input is one. So that is what here. The key register contains all are one. Then match up. Otherwise, no match. Any doubts here at this point? So I will count down our old formula. Count down formula. Uh, start five, four, three, two, one, and zero. So hope no doubts. So let us proceed with the uh, further here. Otherwise, only those bits in the argument. That have one in the corresponding position of the key register are compared. This is again very obvious. Wherever ones are there, that is the, the, the only that portion is compared. That is what the meaning. That the key provides a mask or identifying piece of information, which specifies how reference to memory is made. So what basically key is doing? Key register. Key provides a mask or identifying a piece of information. Which specifies how the reference to memory is made. So that is what the key role is, key register role is. Uh, to illustrate with a numerical example, suppose that the argument register A and the key register uh, and the key register and the key register, if have the bit configuration shown below, this is our argument register. And uh, the other is our key register. So this is our key key. So key register. Now, if you see this portion, all ones here. Uh, let me take uh, this another. So this portion, this portion, all ones here. They are also all ones. Uh, sorry, this is the argument. But uh, I am talking about the key, this key. This key, if you see, the portion uh, here, uh, let me uh, take this one. This, this one. You see this one here? This is all ones here. This is all ones, wherever there, there was, there, there where the comparison is done. See, if, if you see this, no match. We have written no match. Why? Because the word one is having here one, zero, zero. So, let me change this. This this uh, argument having one zero one, and uh, your content uh, addressable memory inside the memory we have the word one. This this entire one, entire one, this one we have. But the match is happening only where the key key uh, register bits are one, and that is one here only here. So at that portion, this matching is happening. So the, here, one zero zero no match. Are you getting the point? Uh, this is AND gate. Let us say this one you are giving here, and this key uh, one you are giving here. So one one. What is the output? One. Another AND gate. Next you give zero here. This zero. This zero here. Next one you give here. So this is zero. This is one. So what is that coming out? Coming out is a zero. Next, what is that? You give here one, one. So this one and this one, T one. So this is one. So one zero one is the output. That one zero one is matching with this one list. So that's why this match occurs. But if you take this the other word here, this one zero one zero zero, there is no match. This, this is not going to happen. This is not going to come. When you compare this two A and a K to perform, this one zero one is happening only with the word two. That's why the match match occurs. But word one is having one zero zero, so no match occurs. No match. That's clear. So that is what uh, this entire uh, thing is with this example. So is this what we are trying to say? Where k is having one 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 one, there only match occurs. 
So let us uh, go to this word to. This is again the theory related. Word to matches the unmasked argument field because the three leftmost bits of the argument and the word are equal. The relation between the memory array and the external register in associative memory is shown in figure two. Let us go to the figure two. This is the figure associative memory inside what it is there. You see this uh, the second one here. Second one, second uh, subscript. We have two subscripts here. P one one, P one J. The second is J. The second is J. So J is uh, column. Column. How many columns? N bits are there. Means N columns are there. One indicates the first one indicates which row, first word or second word or last word. That is row. So first word, second word, y m yth word. So that is what inside it. Now this is the argument register. This is your key register. So the match match is like this. Whenever there is uh, suppose uh, this this area, this only our intention is to take this two. We have kept one here, one here. So our intention is to match the contents of this entire argument. Uh, so at this. Uh, First, first two. So if matches are happening here, first two, then this is set to one. If match is not happening here, then all are set to zero. 